This is Joseph Coco. I'm at A2CAF 2017 on behalf of Becca Hilburn's Art Process blog. If you could introduce yourself, please. Hi, I'm Dan Merritt. I'm co-owner at Green Brain Comics in Dearborn, Michigan. I'm also on the board of directors and a founder of Kids Read Comics. Okay, fantastic. So it's really great when we can talk to somebody who actually has uh, uh, some say in the show. We've talked to some Artist Alley directors before and things like that. Uh, how much of the actual organization of the uh, conference do you do? Or the convention? So. We are more on the book selling logistics Hi, side sorry, now. It's a, a natural evolution of our part of the organization where originally we started as just uh, a base she organizer is, doing a little bit of everything. Today. Okay. Uh, now we are looking at slowly at branching out or franchising, franchising the Kids um, Read Comics brand. So we um, may be transitioning um, back into a general organizer at different sites around Michigan. Yeah, basically in order to get sites started up and then once they've kind of taken off a little bit, maybe uh, exactly. start focusing attention on other places. And uh, that's kind of how Ann Arbor started. We, uh, yeah. the, the organization originally started in Chelsea. We moved it to Dearborn, back to Chelsea, and then to Ann Arbor. And this seems like a great home for the bigger scale events where sure. now that they are running this primarily mm -hmm. here at, at the Ann Arbor Library staff, uh, we are more consultants. Yeah. And yeah, we spoke with Ann last year, and she gave some great uh, feedback on how to get uh, kids' comics into libraries and things like that. Um, so that I, if, if anyone is interested in, in the more library aspect, I would definitely recommend they check out that interview. So what actually got you um, started? What was, was it centered around Free Comic Book Day that you started trying to start up a con? Like, what, what gave you the idea? Well, um, the idea was brought to me by Dan Mishkin and Jersey Drozd. Okay. Oh, like nine, ten years ago. Um, Dan Mishkin was inspired by a convention that was happening out in the New York, uh, New Jersey area by Alex Simmons, uh, the Kids Comics Convention, I believe the event was called. Okay. And he thought that'd be a great way to, or a great direction to start a convention here in Michigan. Yeah, there's definitely not enough kids cons out there, so exactly. the more the merrier. And Dan's very involved, Dan's a veteran comic writer yeah. uh, that gravitates to younger reader comics. And of course, Jersey Drozd is not only a published creator, but a comics educator. And he's great with kids, and his, his heart is truly in young reader comics. Yeah. So when they brought the idea to me, uh, my wife Katie and I had already run a couple different specialty conventions that were focused on creators. They felt like we could bring uh, some knowledge and experience to the organization. And uh, then with other co-creator Edith, Edith Donnell, who is a young adult librarian in Chelsea, uh, that was the core or of the organization brought together. Okay. And can you tell me a little bit about um, Green Brain Comics? Like, do you guys mostly sell to kids, or it's everybody? Uh, I mean, obviously you have some things for everybody, but uh, is is the target audience um, kids at Green Brain? Our target our target audience is growing and diversifying the okay. audience. Is our real target? Yeah. Our, so people who don't consider to... themselves comic book readers, exactly. you, would, you would like to get those people into the shop. Yeah, um, 18 years ago when we when we bought the store from the original owner, uh, we saw that the target or the general audience was uh, a very uh, male-oriented 18 to 35 general audience, and yeah. we felt an, an, an immediate need to diversify that as much as possible. Yeah, not only to a younger audience but also to a female audience and making sure that our store was appealing and appropriate for all of the audiences. Okay. And can you tell me a little bit, how, how long has Green Brain Comics been around? The store originally opened by, uh, let's see, 1985, okay. by original so, owner wow. Gary Reed, who was himself also a comic publisher. He ran Caliber Publishing um, out of his office in Plymouth, Michigan. All right. Um, very notable author, and 
You know, he himself um, was very interested in making sure that the product diversity in, in comic stores represented uh, a wide swath of what was available, not only from his publishing company, but all of the emerging smaller publishers. And when we bought it, so he did a lot of outreach to independent publishers and things like that. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And that was the that was the store that I was shopping at. My wife Katie had been working there for several years. Okay. Uh, that was the store that we felt best suited our needs. Yeah. As readers. Yeah. So when we bought it, we thought it was not only important to continue that tradition, but grow it and strengthen it. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, independent creators are usually a little less shackled to certain tropes that a lot of mainstream stuff has to be. So I can definitely understand someone feeling more connected with a shop that has independent works than something that only carries mainstream works. Um, yeah. So can you tell me a little bit about the setup here at the con? Um, obviously, you guys have a lot of Raina's things. Uh, Raina Telgemeier. Uh, that's a big draw at the at the show. Uh, did she make it here last year? I can't remember. I feel like she had a conflict. Uh, she was here two years ago. Yeah. And uh, she was, uh, you know, right in the middle of a big tour then. Yeah. Uh, this year, this year, she's uh, kind of at the tail end of a of a tour supporting ghosts. Right. So we're very happy that she could make some time. Uh, Rain has been a big supporter of this convention from the very beginning. Sure. And uh, she's such a good friend to not only the, the comics community, but also to Kids Read Comics. It's a big thrill for us to have her back this year. Yeah, I just heard her say, off the record, but I just heard her say that uh, um, Kids Read Comics slash ATCAF is uh, her favorite convention. So. Well, that warms my heart. <laughs> yeah. Um, but... Uh, most of what you guys are selling are Raina's work or at, at the actual show today or you guys are just bringing anything that you think d would draw a kid's attention that uh, might be new? Well this year we are hosting signings for not only Raina yep. but also for Jarek Kozowska who I hope I got his last name right. Okay. Uh, the creator of the Lunch Lady graphic novels. Uh, sure. So we have uh, a selection of his books as well as a a little display of the top ten nominees from this year's Dwayne McDuffie Award for Excellence in Kids Comics, uh, which Raina has won. Awesome. Uh, that was judged by an independent group of um, not only comic readers, but um, retailers, uh, librarians, people in the comic uh, review community. Yeah. Um, independently of our organization. Of course. Um, so Obviously, you, you might be a little biased if she's helped um, the shop and helped yes. the this was uh, definitely convention independent. so much. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it is completely due. It is an amazing book that uh, I think best represents where young adult or young reader graphic novels are at this stage in their development. Sure. I haven't personally read Ghost, but I know Beck has read it, and she loved it. So uh, I, I can certainly see the, the award being deserved. Um, so I did want to ask you, um, you were talking about uh, hosting independent creators within your shop. Um, how do you usually get in touch with independent creators? Is it usually generally through their publishers, or are you also uh, hosting self-published people in Green, uh, Green Brain Comics? Well, over the years, we've developed a reputation for supporting small press. So okay. quite oftentimes, creators will come to us, uh, yeah. especially independent creators in, just, in the just local from word metro mouth? Detroit area. Uh, yeah, our reputation precedes us. Okay. Uh, outside of that, uh, publishers are aware of us and what we do, so they occasionally appeal to us. And on the, uh, on the opportunity, we will... Um, make those communications with creators and and see if there's a way for us to not only bring their books in to p but to support them yeah. uh, in the market itself. Yeah, through free comic book day or uh, just bringing their books along to shows like this and things like that. Yeah, free comic book day is big for us. Uh, not only as an as an independent event to showcase the store, but also we put up a big tent behind the store and host a little mini convention with several local creators yeah. and the occasional uh, traveling touring creator that we can 
broke in to uh, come down. Attract up to the Detroit Dearborn area. Yeah. Okay, and so if someone were interested in having their comic in your shop, um, even if they didn't live in the Michigan, Michigan area, it would be okay if they reached out to you and talked to you about that? Sure, you can communicate with us, uh, reach out through the website. We have a contact form in there. Uh, give us a description of your comic, um, maybe some pointers to resources, some some um, reviewable pages, okay. and, uh, and we'll see if we can work together. Okay. And I also wanted to ask, um, uh, certain brick and mortar stores are having some trouble. Um, how is the, the comic industry weathering that and how is Green Brain Comics doing in terms of um, like competition with online stores like Amazon and other places like that? I mean, you don't need to go into numbers or anything like that, but just to give creators a general idea of what the current uh, field of, of comics is, is like. Well, I think independent retailing in general is challenging at this time with the amount of other venues for people to do their shopping through. But I think what really sets us apart is the community and the atmosphere that we've built. And I don't think that could be replicated on online shopping. No, and not, uh, it, not easily anyway. It's much easier just to run into somebody in person than it is to run into them on some online shop, basically. Right. So I, I don't really consider online shopping competition okay. because they're in a different market. Yeah, of course. Our market is taking care of people. Yeah. And making sure they feel welcome and have an opportunity to leave through books yeah. and find so out what they're about. You're engaging they people buy. about their interest and in recommending titles and that sort of thing to customers as they come in. Okay. It's apples and oranges. Yeah. We're both fruit, but we're different varieties. Yeah, rather than some random algorithm telling a reader that they might like this because someone else bought it or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, uh, we feel like we give much more personable uh, references and suggestions. Okay. So you mentioned trying to attract non-comic book readers to comic book stores. Um, is there some way, like, is there something you can recommend for artists to try to uh, point people who aren't necessarily comic book readers to comic book shops? Like, how do you usually attract people to the to the shop? Are you taking out ads, or are you just talking to people who aren't necessarily readers about it and recommending they come by? Oh, uh, we work um, pretty closely with uh, local organizations. Uh, okay. We have a thriving artist community in Dearborn that I think is a great. Uh, personable outreach yeah. to uh, new markets, uh, new clientele. Uh, we do some social media advertising as well, and you know, big outreaches like Free Comic Book Day, yeah. and uh, recently Wonder Woman Day, which we uh, advertised through uh, some of the local theaters. I think that brought in a lot of people that are curious about graphic novels that, that haven't yet not actively one reading them. Yeah. Okay. And um, what about things like uh, uh, book fairs at schools and things like that? Is is that uh, yeah, is I've that something you guys I've worked try pretty to closely with schools, uh, not only in programming and signing, but also in presentations. Okay. Um, book sales with schools. I'm um, I'm available for all of that. Uh, awesome. Again, contact us through the website. We would we would be happy to uh, consider and work with with any schools, libraries, on, on developing programs. Okay. And you're talking local to Michigan or just anywhere in the U.S.? Uh, preferably local to the Metro Detroit area. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I did also want to ask you uh, how artists could help out um, comic book shops in general. I mean, obviously working free comic book day at a, your local comic shop and pointing people towards their local comic shop when people are looking for comics rather than online uh, is two simple ways, but is there any other advice you can give for artists to try to uh, help the brick and mortar stores to um, stay thriving? Well, I think um, active support not only um, by purchasing books through a brick and mortar store but spreading the word. Okay. Uh, one of our best modes of advertisement is word of mouth because yeah. somebody's opinion of us is invaluable. It is freely given and it means the world. So when we get those five star reviews on Google and Facebook, uh, okay. that goes a long way. Yeah, so, so not necessarily just word of mouth, but just exactly. anywhere you can talk about it, start talking about your comic exactly. book shops. Yeah. Exactly. Because, okay. you know, uh, comic books and comic book stores 
are very important to continuance of our culture as uh, creative Americans. And it's very important to make sure that goes on for generations to come. Yeah. And finally, um, well, not quite finally, I wanted to ask if uh, an artist wants to try to uh, get their comic book shop to come to a convention, uh, would you have any advice for comic book shops working conventions or anything like that? I assume it's very different than an artist working convention. Right. Uh, from from our perspective, we don't do that many conventions. Okay. Uh, this this is the only one that we retail at, and that okay. is only in support of creators. Yeah, because you're, you're sponsoring uh, it. The other conventions that we do, uh, currently we, we support an event called Comic Con, which is in Dearborn, and is focused on all female creators. Though we hope to bring in a wide diversity of clientele, men, women, kids, adults. We want to bring them all in and show them all the thriving work from female cartoonists in this industry. Yeah. Um, outside of that, we don't retail it. Just focus on the store. Yeah. Our, our bread and butter is in new comics and graphic novels and... I see conventions, uh, mainstream conventions, more focused on uh, older comics and that yeah. kind of stuff. Not really what we do. Old, old full boxes that have been sitting around for a long time. And that's that's totally fine. That's part of the culture. Yeah. Um, but what we've done is we've kind of specialized in, in our evolution over the last 33 years has created this very unique model uh, and you know we're not a one-of-a-kind store in the fact that um, you know there's lots of other stores that only focus on new comics and graphic novels yeah but in our market in the metro detroit area i think that we're pretty much the only one yeah okay and can we find green brain comics online or do you guys exclusively sell in in uh, in the store uh, we don't do retail sales on our website, except for a few pieces of merchandise and store-branded items. Sure. Uh, but you can find us on the web at uh, greenbraincomics.com. Okay. Uh, we have presence on all social media, generally Green Brain Comics or Green Brain CMS. Okay. And yeah, we're really easy to find. All right, awesome. And thank you so much for helping put on the show. It's been fantastic for us uh, the two years that we've been here, and I've only ever heard good things about the show. So, uh, I'm glad we, you guys were able to come out. We, we really appreciate it, and I hope this encourages other people to come check out the show and check out your comic book shop. Great, I appreciate it. All right. Thank you.